Hi, this is Amy at the Alti Store. We are on location today in Hopkinton, Massachusetts, the starting spot of the Boston Marathon. And what we're doing here is we're visiting Snappy Dogs. They have an eight-year-old solar system that we put up for them used back eight years ago. It's an old thin film panel. It's been kind of degrading. And quite frankly, their energy needs have been growing as they've been growing. So they started out just keeping their cell phones charged, but now they've added fans, they've added lights. There's talk of adding a, a DC refrigerator. So we are going to replace their three small solar panels with one big Solar World 275 watt panel. So let's get it going. Okay, so we are replacing those three small 12 volt panels with one big 20 volt panel. I'm measuring just right across the, the plus and the minus of the 20 volt panel. This is a 275 watt solar world panel. Now the short circuit current, which would be what you measure when you're just uh, disconnected to anything but the meter, that is about nine and a half amps. Right now it's, uh, I don't know, probably about noon and I'm facing west. So right now, the, the short circuit current of, of this panel is about nine and a half amps, and I'm seeing about 4.3 amps. Now I'm not at a perfect tilt and I'm not facing the sun. So just for fun, let's rotate this towards the sun and see what improvements we get. So I've got 6.6, 7 amps, 7.8, 7, 8, 8.5, 8.6, so you see by changing the angle, oh, I'm, I'm up at nine amps now. So changing the angle, changing the direction makes a huge difference. So even though this is gonna be a 275 watt panel, because of the position of the trailer, it's gonna be facing west. So it's actually, it's a nice thing because it'll be getting, getting direct sun later in the day but it's not throughout the course of the day, it's not gonna get the full rating of the, uh, the solar panel. So likewise, I'm gonna measure the open circuit voltage. So same thing, that is the volts that this panel is outputting when it's directly in the sun, only connected to a voltmeter. The VOC, open circuit voltage, is about 39 volts in this. Now it's really hot out, I don't know if you can tell, but it's really hot out right now and silicon solar panels do not like the heat. So the voltage does drop when it's hot. So right now I'm reading 34.6 volts. So let's do the same thing. Let's turn this towards the sun, see if we've got much improvement. Now voltage is not as affected by the direction as current is, but still we're up to 36 volts now. So, so we're, getting, we're getting close. So this is, this is pretty much putting out um, about what I would expect for a hot summer day with less than ideal conditions. Now let's compare that with the, the thin film panels that are up on the roof. Okay, so now we're gonna check out what we've got up here. We've got about 5.17 amps, which quite frankly is not all that different from what we were seeing from the other solar panel. But where we're gonna see the big difference is these are three 12 volt panels wired in parallel. So we're gonna be seeing probably somewhere around 20 volts or so. So let's take a look. Yep, 19 volts. So we're getting 19 volts out of this and we were getting about 35 volts out of the other panel. So the, the thing that we're going to notice is we can't use a PWM charge controller now. We had a PWM charge controller in there, the, the Xantrex C40. We're replacing it with a MPPT charge controller. If we tried to put this through that PWM charge controller with the 20 volt solar panel, we're gonna drop the volts. We're also gonna keep the amps low, so we're gonna lose easily half the power. So by using a Blue Sky MPPT charge controller, it's gonna take the high voltage from the solar panel, it's gonna drop it down to the low voltage that we need for the 12 volt battery, and in doing so, it's gonna raise the current up on the output. And because watts equals volts times amps, if you drop the volts, raise the amps, you're not gonna lose any power. With an MPPT charge controller, we're gonna be greatly increasing our output. All right, let's get started.
All right, so I replaced the, the old racking with two of the Iron Ridge XLR uh, rails that uh, we had lying around. And I'm going to put a third rail on here now. So I just need to drill some holes for the, the lag screws. I'm going to be using stainless steel and I am going to be using uh, blackjack roofing goop to, to do a nice watertight seal. Again, because I'm not even going, in, I'm not going inside the, um, the trailer for this. I'm not too worried about, about leaks or anything. So I'm just going to do some roofing goop and no flashing. Um, if this were something that were a watertight uh, building, I would, I would want to be doing flashing for sure. Okay, so you see that the solar panel comes with H4 connectors already on it. So what I've done is I took an extension cable and it had a male and a female, one on each side. And I figured out the length that I'm going and I cut it in two. And so this gives me the ability to have a bare strip wire on one side. So that's gonna go to the charge controller breaker and the charge controller. And I've got my watertight connector on the other side. So this gives me a nice waterproof, easy way to do it. So just cutting the, um, the extension cable in two. Don't necessarily cut it in half because you might be going different distances. So just keep that in mind, but a uh, real quick and easy way to do that. All right, so the lovely owners of the Snappy Dogs, Teresa and Lisa, they're gonna help me put the solar panel up. So here we go, we just what lift it up. Doing? There we go. Yay! Making it doable. So you can see we've got a real nice tight connection with the Iron Ridge UFO clamp and the 33 millimeter sleeve that clips on to be the right thickness for that thickness. But because this is a mobile trailer, I was just wanting to do a little bit extra. So I did an extra L foot. Um, I just put a little extension there and and I've got it so that it's just a little stop, just, just in case, forward and, and aft of the, uh, the panel, just so if for some reason, you know, if there's in a car accident or something and uh, there's this tremendous uh, force forward or aft, this will be a nice little stop. So this is kind of a belts and suspenders, just in case being, being safe. Because you know, with a mobile application, you really do want to be safe but it probably is fine using just the, the four clamps, but I just needed a little extra security there. So here we have our new and improved solar with a, a Solar World 275 watt panel, replacing those, those three tiny degraded panels. Uh, we were getting maybe about 15 watts total out of the other ones, and now we've got 275 watts. So we're gonna uh, add some fans, maybe a fridge, and uh, who knows, a hot tub. Huh? So, <laughs> joking about the hot tub, but we could do the math on that if you want. So anyways, um, here we are at Snappy Dogs and we've got our new solar system on here. <laughs>